Snake, 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 right here. Animal oddities have always captured our attention. And it seems that the more bizarre a species appears, the more we as humans take time to stop and admire those creatures that rarely find the spotlight. The Brave Wilderness Channel has always taken pride in its ability to get the coyote pack excited about animals like giant ink spewing slugs, alien looking slimy salamanders, and nightmarish tooth wielding worms. If it looks like a creature from the upside down, you guys absolutely love it. Today we are exploring an ancient forest of towering trees, located in the Totori Prefecture of Japan. Considered the least human populated area in the country, this environment is rich with animal biodiversity. From amphibians such as tree frogs, look at the black mask running down both sides of the face. It's so cute! To slithering predators, like rat snakes. Yeah, a little four-line rat snake, a very bitey one. The reason this location has such an abundance of animal activity, aside from its lack of human encroachment, is largely due to its life-giving levels of saturation. Not only does crystal clear mountain water flow completely unobstructed by man, but the forests are also dense with vegetation, like ferns and mosses. Ultimately, this yields the perfect combination of environmental factors to support and keep hidden creatures you wouldn't normally find anywhere else in the world. And sometimes the best way to discover the unseen is to simply look in the places that keep such creatures hidden from sight. Oh, snake, 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 right here. Oh, look at that. Mario, what is that, what is that? Let me see. What kind of snake is that? Oh, that's a, uh, that's a ground snake. A ground snake? Yeah. A Japanese ground snake. It's pretty rare. Really? Yeah. Wow, okay. Uh, well, let's film something with this for sure. Mark, we got a little ground snake. Woo! Check that out. Just underneath this log. Flipped up the log. Wow, non-venomous, right? No, non-venomous. Sweet. Wow, it almost looks like a rubber bow. Look at that. Nice. Okay, cool. Let's bring it up here off the side of this hill and get it up close for the cameras. Wow, what a fantastic find. Now this is the Japanese ground snake, a species that is very seldom seen because they're primarily fossorial. Now as you guys know, fossorial means that they live underground. Now when I flipped over that log and saw the snake, at first I was like, oh, it almost looks like a rubber boa. It has a face that looks just like the head of a rubber boa. And this is a very fragile species, so I don't want to move it around a whole lot. I want to try to keep it in one position. This is a snake that needs to completely stay out of sunlight. In fact, if the snake were to find itself out in the sunlight, it could die within just a matter of hours. Now, deep within the forest, this is the perfect location to find a species like this. You've got a lot of moisture, you have a lot of leaf cover, uh, the perfect spot for a reptile like this to hide. I know as I was walking around, I was saying, man, I wish the sunlight was out so that it would bring out the snakes. This is a snake that actually tries to avoid the sunlight. Now what's really cool is they have keeled scales and those scales are separated. They don't overlap which gives it a beaded appearance and if you look at it from just the right angle it almost appears to be iridescent. Watch this if I hold it up into the light Mario see if you can zoom in. The snake is also semi-translucent. Look at that. You can see there's actually something in its belly right there. Looks like it's about the size of a small cricket or maybe one of those little tree frogs that we've seen jumping around. Oh, that's cool. We can see right inside of the snake. Now, one way to easily identify the species, let me turn it up in the air there. Take a look at the black stripe running down the dorsal side of the animal. Wow, what a unique species. Very tiny little eyes. They probably have pretty poor eyesight, only able to sense light and movement because they rely mainly on their tongue to pick up chemicals within the environment. Of course, they use that tongue to not only detect predators, but also to search for their prey. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, what does a tiny snake like this feast upon? Small amphibians and likely small insects. Nothing very big would be able to fit into the mouth of this snake. Well, this is pretty special, coming here to the snake temple, and we managed to find one of the rarest snake species we could have possibly come across, the one and only Japanese ground snake. I'm Coyote Peterson, be brave stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. The Japanese ground snake is arguably one of the rarest snake species you can encounter in Japan, and we were unbelievably lucky to have found this forest treasure. 
we gently placed the reptile back in the exact place where we found it and continued our exploration of this ancient land. It appeared that flipping decomposing logs was yielding fantastic results. And it was only moments later that we unveiled one of the strangest things we have ever come across. Stay tuned for the bizarre conclusion as we get an alien-like creature up close for the cameras. And don't forget, subscribe so you can join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail.